Day seven, day six of Thailand, Bangkok. I have lost track of time. I am bored. And I know what you're thinking. How could you be bored in a new city and adventure? But I'm bored because I'm on a budget. So I'm afraid to, you know, every cappuccino or every uh, bowl of pho or something like that could be, you know, later on. Not having a return date makes things a little bit harder. So it's like, can I afford to eat, go see a movie? Can I afford to uh, go find the royal palace? You know? So I've been trying to sit in this hotel room as long as I can. Oh my God, am I going stir crazy? I mean, look at that. Adventure. It's Thailand. The beast. Right there. And I've explored a big chunk of it. There's still a long way I could go. My energy levels probably depleted the my hair's crazy my energy levels yep so i'm down eating once a day right so same thing like with vietnam um energy levels i don't know 20 percent if we push it maybe 25 we could probably get a good 15 miles in today if i really push myself the sun's out which makes it a little bit harder maybe i should do that uh, at least it keeps your mind off of like the time I'm desperately hoping for good news that I could come home tomorrow. Well, it wouldn't be tomorrow, I doubt. It'd be Tuesday. So we get approved and then book a flight. Probably save money, but I'm desperately hoping. <sighs> it's been fun. It's been fun. But there's only so much window shopping you could do before you're just like, I have a motorcycle back home. I want to ride. <laughs> I got people back home I want to see. I want my ball me. <laughs> uh, if I could find that mall, there was a ball me place there. But it was like 200,000 baht. Or not 200,000 baht. 200 baht for ball me. You go to a little sandwich shop, you get something for like 100. So Probably going to have to extend another night at this hotel. And put all my good faith and fortune that tomorrow is good news. If I get stuck here longer than... If I have to stay here another week, I'm going to go crazy. You know why? I'll show you why. So yeah, you can walk around, you can adventure. You've done plenty of that. You can try the lo uh, local cuisine, the foods. Yeah, I've tried that on a budget, all right? Uh, the poor man's version. But we're, what it really comes down to is this right here. I only brought one book. And yes, it is a big book. But I finished this thing in one night. So, how do you stimulate your mind? So, I can watch YouTube till I go brain dead. I can watch documentaries about sloths or about the lions and the prides or the history of thailand or thousand how a honda cbr thousand smokes an r1 yes i said it anybody wants to race come find me but uh, i'm ready to go home i'm ready and then, yeah one day i'm gonna look back in this and laugh and be like you know this is, this is a crazy adventure i probably could have not been so conservative probably you know had a little bit more fun but i was trying to you know I, I, you know when you're worried about money you gotta man my hair is crazy when you're worried about money you have to you know be responsible but i have decided i need a cappuccino i do need a cappuccino so i am going to venture out and get a cappuccino uh, besides that one of the uh, people on my YouTube said they said they saw the, war the royal palace I would, I would like to see that in the ocean how I get there on foot I have no idea I would really need some energy to track that uh, I, I, that's a pretty to the ocean to the beachfront and where I'm at that would be I wouldn't be getting so I, I'd get there near dark at the time of this recording and then my whole journey back would be trying to navigate through the dark 
without technology, without the railroads to navigate me. So it'd be a risk. Of course, I live my life like a risk, but it's a little bit easier when you're in America because you could just carry a sidearm, right? Or a knife. Here, you don't got nothing. Besides this, right? Uh, also, uh, the Royal Palace, I'd love to see. Uh, I hear it's beautiful. The, one of the subscribers who told me about it said they took a taxi though so I'm sure I could find all this stuff if I googled it enough it's just like I said I haven't had no food yet last thing I've ate so in the last 36 hours 48 hours since that video I made last night I've had one 6 inch Subway chicken teriyaki with a sprinkle of lettuce and onion sauce and an orange juice, orange juice. So that's all we're going off of. So we'd have to stock up some carbs for energy for a mission like that. I'll make this pledge. If tomorrow I get good news that I could come home, I will. As a parting gift to Bangkok and for the great memory, because uh, I mean, be honest with you, like. It's a great place, it really is. I mean, it's nothing like you see in the movies. I'm sure there there is places like that, but people are very kind, very safe, very beautiful. But city life is just not for me. I miss the country. I miss seeing the Sapa Mountains. You know, the the noise. But I have enjoyed seeing the thousands of motorcycles just pass me by. It's like a torture every time I hear a freaking R6 or a freaking Jixer or a freaking CB, a CBR or a R, a R1 or a freaking Ducati. There's so many freaking Ducatis out here, man. There's all kinds of crazy like, crotch rockets. Like every, you walk down the street in the main road, right? And you know, you'll hear them coming, you know, two minutes ahead. Just like my bike back home in America. And of course I stop. And I would get so excited. I'm just like, oh, what is it? What is it? And I'll just see him. There goes a freaking R1. There goes a Ducati. There goes a Jixer. And I was like, my God. That was my life once. Two years ago in America. That was me. On my CBR 600. That was that. Now I have carpet. My motorcycle back in Vietnam. But she's obviously not on the class. Of, you know, power wise, it's the bikes out here. That does lead me to a new mission, though. I think for a two-year goal of Vietnam, not my, my two-year anniversary of Vietnam is already passed, but uh, or, or it's close to. I, for, I don't even know what day it is. Um, let's put another two years on the marker. If I stayed here, I'm gonna go to Hanoi or Ho Chi Minh City, and I'm gonna find a. CBR 1000 RR. Uh, no, scratch it. We'll stick with the 600. I want the 04 with the underseat exhaust. And yeah, you'd be like, well, well you're, it's the same bike you have back home in America, so why get two of the same? So maybe I'll switch it up. Maybe I'll go for Jixer. I won't go for an R6 because the Yamahas are the arch enemy of CBR Honda. But I'll look into the Suzuki. I like Suzuki a lot. My first bike was a Suzuki, a GS500. So. I will eventually upgrade to a more powerful bike, and I will be the king of Lao Kai when it comes to motorcycles. Except for that dude with that Ducati. Uh, I don't know what you're running. I can't. I don't know, know Italian bikes and all that foreign stuff, really. To be honest, I kind of just stick with uh, you know Yamaha, uh, Kawasaki, Honda, etc., etc., or American, you know, Harleys and stuff like that. Indians. Anyways, I'm just blabbing on, trying to get the energy to work up to make this walk. You take for granted, you take for granted having a motorcycle or a skateboard or anything to get around. I don't mind a good walk, don't get me wrong, but when you're low on energy, it's hard. Anyways, let's go get the, let's go get the cappuccino and see if that helps out. And then, if energy comes, maybe we'll find the Royal Palace or the ocean. But, 
please, please, please let me come home tomorrow. Maybe we could go talk to that monk again. I mean, he doesn't talk to me, but I could talk to him. Where did I find him at? Or my friend Ink, if I could find her. I can't find all these places. I should have made, I should have wrote mental, you know, maps of like each spot, but you know, I was in such awe, you know, like such, such a, uh, sorry, I'm starting to think, I'm just so hungry. I was in such a shock, I just didn't, you know, I, I did the grid pattern search, but I didn't mark down, like, like locations of, like, this is the street, you know, blah, blah, blah. Now, if I want to spend a whole day retracking re places I've already done, I could. But I wouldn't mind talking to that monk again. That monk was, uh, very, I'll, I'll, like, like I said, I'll never forget, he gave me a nod of approval, like the slightest, man, a little smile. Because I sat in the dirt on my knees. I, I didn't know if I was allowed to come into his little you know, booth area. So I wanted to stay respectful. And that look he gave me, it really stuck with me. So maybe if I told him, just like, hey, this is what I'm going through. Even if he can't hear me. Even if I just talk through the, outside the window. Maybe I'd gain some greater insight on myself or my situation here in, in Thailand. Vietnam, I do miss you. It's gonna be a glorious return. Glorious return. I'm going straight to the Balmy, and then I'm going straight to Space Creative Coffee. Well, before I do that, I'm going straight to a certain somebody. Yeah, uh, you know who you are. But after all that, then I'm going to my motorcycle. Ah, oh, my motorcycle. What? We're just gonna gun it as fast as we can up Sapa. We're just gonna smoke that thing. And everybody who always tries to race me in Sapa loses. And I've been noticing there's some new cross rockets in town. But it doesn't matter, man. You can have even a CC advantage on me. But if you can't hit the corners, if you don't have the, if you don't have the uh, cojones, if you don't have that skill, man, on the lane, like it doesn't matter how fast you go. We're not going on a straightaway. We're hitting curves. If you can't take your knee to the ground, then you know don't step up. But I do have one loss as a te technicality because I hit a rock and almost crashed. Almost got hit by a semi too. Matter of fact, I think I've almost died five times on that motorcycle. <laughs> that's why we love motorcycles, I guess. Anybody who rides would tell you that's why, you yeah. know? Okay, I'm gonna go, go now, so. Whew, cappuccino. Find some food and see if we can find the Royal Palace or the beach or something. I don't know. We'll see what we get, trouble we get into. Bye.